In this video I'm going to show you how to display specific information in a reach edit. Okay, specific information that is in your database. I'm going to show you how to display that in your reach edit. So at the moment I have my edit table, data source and my DB grid. All three are connected and my DB grid is displaying everything in the CD table at the moment. So I'm going to change now. So I'm going to add a button. And when I click on this button, I want to display all this information in the reach edit on the bottom. And after I've done that, I'm going to change this program so that it will only display specific information. For example, only display the artist name of the CDs where the genre is equals to pop or to jazz, something like that. Okay, but first we're gonna display everything. Okay, so I'm going to say edit table one dot first to go to the first record just to make sure that we are at the first record. And then I'm going to use a while statement to run through this whole table. Okay, the table I'm using is the CD table. CD table over here, yeah. Okay, so while not edit table one dot end of file. While we are not at the end of the file, we must continue with this loop. So I want to display it in a reach edit. Reach edit lines of add and let's say we want to display all the artist names. Remember, you can choose any specific field, or you can choose to display multiple fields. I'm only going to display the artist name in this reach edit. There's going to be a lot of them, and they probably will not fit in this reach edit here. Okay, so I'm selecting the artist. Well, that's the word, that's the field I want to display from the edit table. But now I must remember that I must go to the next record after I display the first one. Okay, so currently I'm at the first record. I'm going to run through this while loop until it reaches the end of that CD table. I'm going to check the first one, display the artist. Go to the next one. We are not at the end of the file. Display the second one. Go to the next one, display the third one, and it's going to continue like this until it reaches the end of the file and then it will stop. Okay, so I'm going to click, you will be able to see it running through the whole table until you reach the end of the file. Okay, there we can see everything's in there. Um, remember, it's very important to add the edit table.next, otherwise you're going to get a never-ending loop. It's going to be stuck inside as well, while loop. you're not going to get out of it. Okay, so now I'm going to customize it a little bit. I want to display only the pop artists. Okay, so pop is all three characters is uppercase. Remember, it will be case sensitive there. So I'm going to say while of if the genre is equals to pop okay so that must be uppercase so while it's pop I want to display I want to display the artist name okay while the genre is equals to pop I don't want to put this inside the if table because then it's only going to go to the next record 
if the genre is pop. So if the first one is not pop, it's going to get stuck there. It's not going to go to the next record, and you will also have a never-ending loop. Okay, so now pop. It's only the pink and king that has this pop. Here's a pop, but it's not all uppercase. So it's not going to display that one. Pink over here is the same as the one that we searched for. So it's pink and king is the only two records where the, uh, the genre is actually pop. So then you can change this. You can make it something like replace replacement value. Check for values that are bigger or smaller than or equals to. Okay, so this is the basic layout of the while statement. Ah, for the edit table to view uh, everything. Make sure you are the first record. Run until you reach the end of the file. This will not always be there. So if you want to display everything, you can just add the reach edit and display. But if you only want to add specific, display specific things, then you can add the if statement and you need to add a table one dot next.